Today I'll show you one of the most useful plugins for Unreal Engine. It's called Dash. This will speed up your creation of scenes by a huge amount. This also could be the future of how to interact with scenes in Unreal. Let's get started. So let's talk about Dash. I will show you a short example um, about the physics simulation because that's a really fun thing to do. If you want, we can also go over the terrain creation. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment down below and uh, let's get started. First, if you don't have this bar, just hit your little dash button here and it should appear. On the left, you have your options and check for updates, watch tutorials, stuff like that. That's your prompt bar where you can enter like box and then create primitive and you get a box, stuff like that. That's your physics panel, which we will use today. That's the content library, which is using your content from your hard drive. So whenever you go into bridge and under local, you have everything you downloaded. That's what you can see in the content library. So if you want to use um, stuff from Quixel Bridge, you need to download it first and then you have it in your content library. And if you double click here, you have your um, prompts you can use. And there is really a lot of stuff you can use, like moss build up, then you have quick pipes, so much cool stuff to play around, create terrains, create water. Uh, it's, it's really a cool tool. But we will focus on just some easy physics, some let, let stuff drop on the table and uh, make it nice looking with a camera. So first we need some light and for that I'm using Ultra Dynamic Sky. I just put it in here real quick and put the weather on partly cloudy and then I'm good to go. And to be able to drop something somewhere we need a ground. So we could use a terrain but for now I just need a plane. Let's focus that one and let's make it bigger let's say five by five so that should work and then we want a ground so for that i just go on the content library and let's search for ground let's see what i have locally stored and let's use let's use this one so you just drag and drop it and it's already on there if you now select your plane, you can change with this button everything else. The tiling, the roughness, uh, even the normal. So I put it on one and let's see. That one works really good with a little bit more normal map. And you also can change brightness, hue, saturation and contrast. But that's fine for me. I just want to create, uh, I just want to rotate and let's add a table so let's go on the content browser search for table and let's maybe use this one so i just drag and drop it and you can just use your left mouse button to place it you can use um, control and your mouse button to scale it or scale it locally so keep the aspect ratio and you can also rotate it with shift left mouse button or shift middle mouse button and let's make it a little bit bigger and when you are happy you just hit enter and your table is in the scene. So that's a nice looking table and let's just have fun and drop stuff on it. So let's open the content library and go to bridge and let's search for ball. Uh, there's a ball I scanned, yeah, like we really, 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 really long ago. Let's just download it and let's edit. And if we now search for ball, we have our ball in here. So we can just drag and drop it again, like so. Give it a second to compile, hit enter. And then we have our ball here, but it's not really bouncing anywhere. So let's delete it and let's hit hold control, drag and drop and hit physics drop. And now we have our physics simulation running. So let's stop it, lift our ball, make some copies. Let's offset them a little bit. Maybe like so, let's shift select, 
all to back, rotate, and let's select all of them, give them a complex collision, set them to dynamic, and let's hit play. And as you can see, they all fall perfect in place. So we can still change the scene. Because the simulation is still running, we can now go ahead and push them around. So like we can push them from the table or we can stop the simulation, duplicate it a bunch of times and hit start again. And that's really, really awesome if you want to scatter stuff around in the scene. So let's <laughs> remove these balls, maybe like so, and maybe let's add some, some bolts. Like so. So I just hold control, physics drop, stop the simulation, and then I duplicate it a bunch of times and make a copy, rotate it, and I just shift select, or I just search for my bolts. What's the bolt? and I just shift select them, complex, set dynamic and hit play and they perfectly fall into place like so. Well, <laughs> that one looks a little bit off. Let's set it to dynamic. Okay, that one is just a little bit off. Let's lift it. Okay, maybe because the collision of the table isn't set to complex. Yeah, okay. So now they are all perfect. Keep in mind, complex is more intense um, in terms of calculation than simple, but I think it looks always a little bit better. Let's add something else. Let's see what we could add. Maybe, maybe we could add this one. So physics drop it. And let's see when we stop the simulation if we can stack a few up of them. Let's shift select them all. Complex, set dynamic and hit play. Oh no, they all fell over. So let's reset it and let's put them a little bit closer together. Like so. Complex, set dynamic. And ah, okay, they all <laughs> fell over. But let's see if we can do it like so. Complex at dynamic start. Ah, close, but okay. But now we have a nice mess on the ground. Let's create a nice camera to make a screenshot. And I just stop the simulation and go in my search bar and search for camera. And now I'm in a cinematic camera, so that's really nice. And you could control the camera just by clicking here and you get almost all options you would have here in the outliner. So you can change your focus, you can add aperture or you can decrease it, vignette, fringe, whatever you want. You can also add a little bit of sharpen. I still use it here because I have some um, set values I like to use. And let's put the focus point here. And maybe let's change the sky a little bit. Let's see, that one looks nice. But let's add a little bit more sharp to it. And a little bit less vignette. And now we could just go on our little three bars. High resolution screenshot, capture it. Perfect. And let's see if we can take a nice screenshot from the mess here. Mm, maybe like so. So we could use the sun a little bit different, like so. And if we go in our camera, if I can find it camera, focus point, we could create a screenshot 
from here too. So you can see there is so much stuff you can do with this plugin and we didn't even talk about creating terrains and setting up forests and lakes and stuff like that. Leave me a comment down below if you're interested in something like this. Maybe we could create a little series like creating environments based on simple concept art with Dash and Unreal Engine. I think that would be fun. And yeah, I think that could really be some kind of future for Unreal Engine. You don't have to use this whole cluttered interface. You can just use everything in full screen mode um, with Dash. So I think that's really, really promising and we are just um, scraping the surface at the moment. That's Dash for you. In the meantime, you really should check out this video where I teach you how to create a nice looking terrain shader because that's still useful even with the power of Dash.